Imagine a source of power so efficient that a single kilogram can power your home for centuries. Now, imagine the controversy surrounding such power due to potential catastrophic risks. Welcome to the world of nuclear energy. The United States is on the brink of unveiling its $35 billion nuclear power plant, poised to be the largest in the nation. Is this ambitious project a groundbreaking solution for clean energy or a ticking time bomb? I'm Regis, and today we'll dive deep into America's plan to revamp a 40-year-old nuclear plant into the country's largest power source. In the world of energy production, there are several ways to generate power – coal, wind, sunlight, water, and nuclear energy, the most contentious of them all. Despite the controversy, the US is about to open the biggest nuclear power plant in the country. Is this a good idea or a bad one? Let's explore America's plan to transform a 40-year-old nuclear power plant into the largest source of power in the entire country. On paper, nuclear power is one of the most efficient options for power generation. For instance, one kilogram of coal can power a washing machine for six hours, one kilogram of oil for nine hours. But one kilogram of nuclear fuel like uranium can power a washing machine for an astonishing 2,000 years straight. Though I'm not a nuclear physicist, the basic principle of nuclear power generation involves unstable atoms in a reactor being split apart by a particle, releasing a vast amount of thermal energy. This energy turns water into steam, which drives turbines to generate electricity. However, there's a significant drawback. The splitting of these atoms leaves behind radioactive waste, which is hazardous and can harm humans and other life forms. Nuclear power plants strive to safely contain this waste, but there have been several notable accidents. In 2011, the Fukushima power plant in Japan was struck by an earthquake and tsunami, leading to a catastrophic meltdown. Radioactive material spilled into the environment, causing widespread evacuations and leaving areas uninhabitable for decades. Earlier, the 1986 Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine sent radioactive clouds drifting over Europe, potentially contaminating millions and leading to increased cancer and birth defects in the region. The National Research Center for Radiation Medicine in Kiev estimated that roughly 3 million people in Ukraine alone were harmed by the Chernobyl incident. Even without accidents, storing nuclear waste is a complex challenge. This waste remains hazardous for over a thousand years and is typically buried in remote underground facilities. Is it wise to store such dangerous material for so long? This question fuels the controversy surrounding nuclear power. While it provides a substantial amount of energy, the risks are significant. For instance, after the Chernobyl disaster, Italy abandoned nuclear power in 1990, and after Fukushima, Germany closed eight of its plants, shifting to other energy sources. Yet, not all countries are taking this approach. Now, let's talk about Plant Vogel. If you live in Georgia, you might be familiar with it. This American nuclear power plant, first built in the 1970s during the nuclear power boom, faced many challenges. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission NRC, issued numerous construction permits to build as many plants as possible, including Plant Vogel, which featured two separate units with their own reactors and cooling towers. These towers are 170 feet tall, larger than many skyscrapers. The Plant Vogel project was expensive, costing around $9 billion at the time, equivalent to about $20 billion today. The construction faced a major challenge in 1979 when an accident at the Three Mile Island Nuclear Power Station in Pennsylvania raised safety concerns. This incident led many Americans to question the safety of nuclear power, and the NRC halted new permits. Despite this, construction at Plant Vogel continued, even after the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. The team at Plant Vogel believed in their safety measures, and were right. The two reactors at Plant Vogel have operated smoothly, with only one significant incident in 1990 when a truck backed into a power line, causing a 15-minute outage. Plant Vogel generates nearly 20 million megawatt-hours of energy each year, making it one of America's top 10 power sources and a testament to the potential benefits of nuclear power. This success prompted the plant's owners, with NRC support, to expand the project, leading to Vogel 2.0. In the early 2000s, America's attitude toward nuclear power began to shift. President George W. Bush launched a program called Nuclear Power 2010, aiming to establish new nuclear generators nationwide, offering substantial subsidies. This initiative, dubbed the Nuclear Renaissance, 
encouraged the team at Vogel to pursue overtaking Palo Verde, the largest power source in the US, by adding two more reactors, bringing their total to four. They applied for a permit in 2006, and during this nuclear renaissance, the NRC approved it. Between 2009 and 2013, many companies applied for licenses to build new reactors, reminiscent of the 1970s. However, the nuclear boom was short-lived. The 2011 Fukushima disaster reignited fears, causing many permits to be cancelled or suspended. Yet, Vogel continued, incorporating new safety measures to guard against disasters like earthquakes or airplane crashes. Construction of the new reactors began in 2013. One reactor was completed and connected to the power grid in 2023, with the other set to start operations in 2024. These new reactors are the first newly constructed nuclear units in America in over 30 years. They are enormous, weighing more than the Statue of Liberty, and using enough steel and concrete to build a sidewalk from Miami to Seattle. Featuring advanced safety systems and greater efficiency, these reactors will double Vogel's output, making it America's largest single source of energy. The monumental expansion of Vogel's nuclear reactors came at a staggering cost. $35 billion for the new reactors, atop the $20 billion already invested. While some nations, like Germany, have opted to shutter their nuclear plants, Vogel's expansion has elevated it to the forefront of America's energy landscape. Yet, this success prompts a pivotal question. Which path is the right one? While the allure of a nuclear-free existence may seem appealing from a safety standpoint, it bears its own set of challenges. Nations eschewing nuclear power must seek alternative energy sources. Ideally, renewables like wind or hydroelectric power would suffice, but practical limitations abound. To match Vogel's output, America would need a wind farm covering nearly 20% of Georgia. Fossil fuels present another option, yet their utilization exacerbates climate change. Contrastingly, nuclear power offers a carbon-free alternative, potentially justifying the associated risks. As we contemplate the future of energy, striking a balance between safety, sustainability, and efficacy remains paramount. In some ways, it feels like an impossible choice. Is it better to risk the potential dangers of nuclear power for its immense energy benefits, or should we rely on less risky but more environmentally damaging fossil fuels? Perhaps the answer lies in striking a balance, using nuclear power responsibly while continuing to invest in renewable energy. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.